Hey guys, uh, we are looking at uh, Kukulkan Pyramid at Hekanitsa and uh, you can see it's a monumental construction like many monumental constructions and buildings around the world at the time. Uh, it has to be monumental because uh, it's dealing with an enormous amount of energy. It's a receiver from orbits, from uh, uh, satellites, ancient satellites that were harvesting energy from uh, solar wind uh, and then releasing it into uh, these constructions by electromagnetic waves and um, uh, you can see the staircase so-called staircase uh, it's exactly in the place where uh, for example Giza pyramid has uh, concavities uh, so uh, you can see the square base uh, it's always there at the pyramids and uh, there are different uh, heights, of, heights of the pyramids but it's the same function. function. So um, it's, uh, there's a water tunnel on the pyramid perfectly aligned with the pyramid. You can see it's functional and uh, this whole thing is uh, rotated 22.5 degrees from the north uh, direction. Why? Why did uh, builders uh, choose to rotate it this way? Right now they give you only in explanation, it's only symbolical for some shadow of snake. It's uh, bullshit of course. Uh, here on this page you can check this out, it's very interesting. There are many uh, water tunnels under such a pyramids. Uh, it's really check it out it's uh, so many almost every uh, megalithical construction has this water tunnel so let's focus on uh uh, the yellow orbit that is going through uh, Kukulkan pyramid at Kikanitsa and um, uh, we will find uh, why it's uh, tilt, uh, it's rotated uh, 22.5 degrees from the north direction because it has to have some reason uh, it's not just uh, some shadows uh, as uh, mainstream history historians would like you to believe, uh, no, it's it's connected. It's global. Uh, you cannot really explain it without this ancient orbit. So it's time to wake up and uh, just uh, do what is right, uh, even if it's not uh, uh, maybe something that uh, is. Uh, very pleasant to hear for some people. Um, so let's uh, let's have a look where it's pointing. Uh, it's going through, uh, for example, Tikal. Here in this wide area, you can see place where uh, lately has been a big discovery of uh, sixty thousand uh, stone constructions, also pyramid in Guatemala jungle uh, there will be even more and more of these discoveries coming and I can tell you that uh, I can predict uh, they will be oriented uh, also in this uh, way so uh, but you know mainstream historians uh, they cannot do this <laughs> because they they will be dismissed from their universities because uh, uh, you cannot, <laughs> you can see it's pointing at uh, a place uh, at the crossroads of the ancient orbits, which happens to be uh, Eastern Island, which is a perfect triangle with the right angle. Of course, it's not a coincidence. And uh, yeah, I'm doing. I would like to show you this orbit because I missed it in uh, my analysis, which can be found at uh, academia. 
edu under my name you can click it and check the uh, full story so it's basically these orbits are going through uh, famous places uh, with uh, monuments uh, you can see it was uh, some of these orbits were also shaping uh, uh, the geography of earth that's why we can say that god created everything um, also in uh, Norse mythology, I mean, uh, at um, uh, here at uh, Iceland, uh, Iceland, uh, uh, there are also also some interesting uh, stone uh, works and mythology. Um, um, I cannot focus on everything. I will just uh, show you the main uh, main places. Uh, yeah, there are many many strange uh, balancing rocks uh, because uh, this uh, these orbits were used for transport and. Uh, um, uh, okay, let's focus on this. Uh, so, what other another constructions we have? Yeah, at Merv uh, it's great Kiskala. <laughs> so uh, you see also a monumental construction for harvesting energy, of course. Just people ju were just taking this energy from uh, this solar disk, uh, so called. It was a sphere, of course, which were charged from. Uh, sun wind uh, particles and then released there is Mohenjo-daro I'm not even stopping here because it's the most famous place from Indus Valley the beginning of the old civilizations there but here look at these caves stone cut you can see it people were hiding but also harvesting energy um, uh, take a look you can see it shaping the coastline of India. Of course, this uh, uh, another megalithical constructions. Uh, yes, it was used for uh, anti gravity and. Uh, the stones were flying. Uh, <laughs> there is a thing uh, uh, that people don't understand uh, about the pyramids. Uh, I will do it in later videos. This is really just for this orbit that I missed in my previous uh, analysis. But uh, yes, the pyramids were resonating. That's the that's the point. But it was not uh, just acoustical energy but because they were resonating they were harvesting this energy and we are back at uh, this uh, eastern island so yes just uh, just connect the dots and you will see that uh, it's it's all connected and only this has the point just look at this look at this uh, ocean ridges um it's not a coincidence it's uh it's the effect that uh, caused this gravitational force and electro electromagnetic force for example here this is the similar orbit uh, just ch check this ocean ridge check this a red line and it's going perfectly for so many uh, hundreds and thousands of kilometers so not a coincidence and um, uh, just uh, there is another construction for uh, in Russia no explanation no explanation there is nothing there just uh, this uh, rectangular uh, rectangular 
settlement and it's oriented this way so water rectangular construction and uh, it's it's not the important one but uh, from the from the ocean ridge you could see that uh, it has some some pointings there are some of course uh, more famous uh, ancient orbits you can see cr equator the dark uh, red uh, it's you can ch really check this uh, this full hypothesis uh, I'm just uh, today I will just show you this uh, short thing and uh, also uh, later like two days or three days ago there has been an uh, in Brazilian forest uh, uh, they found uh, settlement by lidar and it's exactly on this main orbit uh, uh, Giza, Angerwat, Eastern Island Mohenjo-Daro as well look at this, this is not coincidence it's formed by the forces of electromagnetic forces At the end, I would like to just show you this ancient map from India of the world. So, <laughs> yes, they know that it was a sphere uh, much before the Western civilization. And for me, this looks like orbits, a uh, schematic map of ancient orbits. Uh, don't just trust mainstream historians. Uh, you know, there were times uh, when uh, best universities of our world were teaching uh, that the earth is flat. So, no, no, no. Uh, 